Good morning. My name is Ethan. I'm one of the associates on staff here at Calvary. Pastor Shaw asked me some time ago to share a couple devotionals this morning with you. And I want to talk to you this morning about vision. What is it in this season of life that's capturing your imagination and excitement? In talking with people, recognize that there's a fair amount of disappointment, even some discouragement, uh, and some uncertainties about what's next. And so in such a season, it can be hard to envision maybe the next season of life or even be excited about something that might be coming up. And we've noticed this with our son. We've, we've tried to give him something each week to look forward to. And so on Saturdays, we've given him a, a no-nap day if he has good naps during the week. Um, I take a, a no-nap day with my son, which has typically meant we go out fishing. And uh, even on the last, uh, one of the last fishing trips, I uh, went with him. Um, he, he goes, Dad, there's, uh, there's no time for lollibobbin. We need to go out and catch some fish. <laughs> and so it's something that he's been eager about, something he's excited about every week, looking forward to. But there, there's something to that, that we, we need something to look forward to. We need something to capture our vision, our imagination. And I believe God gives us that in Scripture, that the book of Revelation especially is a book that's intended to capture our imagination, capture our vision, the truth of who God is, uh, what he's done for us, and also what awaits us as his people. And there's an amazing vision in Revelation chapter 5 related to who Christ is and what Christ has done. Because there's a dilemma, if you will, in heaven captured in Revelation chapter 5. There's this scroll, this heavenly scroll, yet none is found worthy to open the scroll. And yet John looks and he sees this lion of the tribe of Judah who appears as a slain lamb. And so this is our King of all kings, Lord of all lords, Jesus Christ, who came and gave his life as a ransom. And this is our conquering king who came as a slain lamb. But then the passage goes on. It says, They sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals, because you were slain. And with your blood you purchased for God persons for every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousands times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is a lamb, lamb who is slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Now as believers we have a lamb, a savior who is worthy of all praise. And I, I hope today that this can be a vision that captures our imagination and our hopes and encouragement. That we are people who belong to Jesus Christ and he is the one who is worthy of all praise. So may this encourage your heart and bless your soul this day. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. We'll see you tomorrow.